Department Store, February 13th. Oh, oh, nine. Mr. Ryuki. Yeah, be that. What are you doing here? Here to see me on stage, perhaps? Yeah. Sorry, right. but I won't be performing today. He isn't. Actually, I'm here to talk to Shoma. To Shoma? Ja, das habe ich gerade gesagt. Setzen wir uns jetzt wieder in... Ja, natürlich. Why am I on a Ferris wheel with you? Aren't you having fun? I would be if you weren't here. Oh. Ryuki, Shoma is actually responding to the conversation this time. Yeah, but he's not very nice to me. This is proof that the chastity belt of his heart is loose. If you shove yourself in there, he just uh, may open you up. may want to rephrase you that. Please not phrase it like that. Why did you lie? What lie? You said the hidden message in Bats 490 pointed to Horidori Institute, but that's not true, is it? Can you tell me why you lied and where the actual location is? Truth is, I never decoded it. <gasps> what? I wanted everyone to think that I did. I wanted the attention, so I lied. Are we done now? Don't talk to me anymore. That got a reaction. He's probably lying right now. His chastity belt wasn't loose after all. If you're going to say it that way, you at least have to add the <laughs> of his heart part. Anyway, I guess I'll have to talk about something else to get him to loosen up. Um... Komedi. I don't want to talk about my dad. I told you before. I don't even want to think about him. Okay, uh... About Komedi. Oh, you cut it out already? Whoa. I don't want to talk about my dad. Uh, praise this one-wheel robot? That robot you showed me the other day was really cool. If you're that skilled, I'm sure you've gotten offers from lots of companies. Christian, du könntest auch als AI bauen arbeiten. Not really. I'm nothing special. I'm just really into robots. But even an amateur can tell that robot was filled with impressive technology, and the one wheel design is beautiful. Well, I knew it had to run on one wheel for sure. It was really hard getting the self stabilization feature working with the one wheel design. Like, major electronics companies make one wheel robots to show off their advanced tech. Mm hmm. Also, what's really great about my robot is its load capacity. It doesn't look like it, but it can easily carry up to 45 pounds. And I want to upgrade it more so it can carry double that. I see, I see. <laughs> I know you don't really care. Looks like it won't go the way it did last time. Hmm. I guess flattery won't get us anywhere. About Mizuki? I told you before. She's just a classmate. We're not friends. And I don't know much about her. Supposedly, she's attending school from her house near the harbor. But I guess her permanent address is in our school district or something. That's why she goes to the same school as me. So you do know a lot about her? <laughs> no! That doesn't no. mean anything! Not like I'm even slightly interested in that uggo. <laughs> well, he really is a kid, huh? About Komeiji. Oh, I already told you! I hate him! Huh. Happy now? I hate him so much. I didn't even want to say it out loud. But you were with him earlier. I was here alone at first. Then Dad came. He wanted to make up. Make up? Dad and I are fighting. I ran away from home yesterday. You ran away from home? What are you fighting about? My friends made fun of me. How is that related to your dad? Because it's my dad's fault for being so pathetic. Pull yourself together. Show me how cool you can be on TV. That's what I said to my dad. Then... I bring smiles to the audience. If I can do that, I don't care if I get mocked. That's what it means to be an entertainer. When he said that, I blurted it out. That's why mom got sick of you and left. Oh, that's how I should have told him. Dad turned bright red and... Then why don't you just leave too? That's why I left the house. You hate your dad that much. Do you think I could like someone like him? A stupid old comedian who gets clowned on all the time. He barely ever goes on TV either. And when he does, it's always some ridiculous thing like getting piping hot Odin shoved into his mouth. The day after he goes on air, I always get made fun of by my friends. I hate it. I'm sick and tired of it. <laughs> Are you sure you don't actually like your dad? I told you, I hate him. 
everything about him. I hate how much he drinks and how he acts so cocky and stubborn when he's drunk. He talks about all these big dreams that he can never achieve. When he sobers up, he remembers what he did when he was drunk and squirms under the blankets. Isn't that sad? It makes me hate him even more. The way his nose hair is always sticking out, the way he wipes his face with sanitary napkins, stupid awful singing in the bathtub. Everything about him is creepy, awful, and pathetic. I hate him! We're hating someone so much, he sure pays him a lot of attention. They say there's a fine line between love and hate. It's no good. Shoma won't open up no matter what I bring up. Looks like we won't get through with the orthodox method. That means... We'll have to try our luck with his father. Oh, nine. Nein! Warum denn schon wieder? Mit ihm auch hier drin. Boy, I'm glad you invited me on the Ferris wheel too. Thank you. Our objective is still to unlock Shoma's chastity belt. You're still going on with that? It would be tough to question Komeiji about tricky subjects if Shoma was nearby. That's why you invited him here, right? Yeah, but... Now that I think about it, we rode this Ferris wheel together two days ago. Well, Mr. Ryuki, it seems like your investigation is going around in circles. <laughs> so, uh, what is it you wanted to talk about? <laughs> if it's about the case, there isn't much else to say. For his level, it was even more interesting. About Shoma's lie. After some careful consideration, I told Mr. Komeji that it's highly likely Shoma lied about the message hidden in Bath 490. Shoma lied? Yes. I see. I don't know much about that hidden message thing, but Shoma is a good boy. He wouldn't lie for no reason. I know that's not that convincing coming from his father, but he must have had a reason to lie. How can I get the truth from Shoma? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, that's very helpful. I can't really talk to him right now myself. I'm sure you're aware, but I got in an argument with Shoma yesterday. What is that? Shoma made it for me when he was little, but yesterday he ripped it up and threw it away. Oh, no. It was really important to me. Hmm. I want to make up, but he... It must be difficult, considering how things are now. Hmm. It's all my fault. The argument only happened in the first place because of my lack of success. Wieso bist du da nicht einfach was anderes als Entertainer? Why are you wearing your stage outfit when you're not performing today? This is the only outfit I have right now. Oh. I actually have another set of personal clothes, but I ruined those two days ago. But this bow tie, I'll be fine as long as I have this. You went this two days ago? Isn't it nice? Shoma bought it for you, didn't he? That's right. Even if I only have one set of clothes, I can wear this or take it off depending on how I'm feeling and wow. It's as if I changed into a completely different outfit. Not really. <laughs> yeah. Oops, it would be terrible if I lost it, so I'd better put it back on. Yeah, looks this completely time, different. Shoma chose it for me so I could really shine on stage. When I wear it, it feels like Shoma is cheering me on. It gives me strength. It's my most precious treasure. Ask about Komeji himself. I used to be a real big shot back when I was known as the Quiz King. Remember? Yeah, I probably should have stick to that. But I let it get to my head, and as soon as I became a comedian, things flipped completely. There was no hope for me to move up in the world. My wife got sick of me and left. I've been raising my boy alone ever since. And yet... Do you regret becoming a comedian? Oh, not at all. I'm proud of being a comedian. At the same time, I'm not proud of my lack of success. <laughs> Understandable. I've put Shoma through so much hardship. It's inexcusable. Um, Mr. Ryuki, 
there is something I'd like to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. What is it? I'm listening. No, never mind. Please forget it. What was that about? It sounded like you wanted to tell me something important. Hey, Ryuki, why don't you try wink syncing with him? Yeah, I'll try taking a peek. Hey, asshole, I know you're in there. Deadline on the payment passed a long time ago. Drop it up, you bastard. Uh oh. It's the loan sharks again. A different set of guys came by yesterday and the day before that. I've been borrowing from so many different places, I don't know who's who anymore. That's probably not very good. Anyway, what am I supposed to do? I can't talk to the police about it. So, he's borrowed money from a lot of people. He must have been in real trouble if he even got involved with loan sharks. But why can't he talk to the police about it? Don't tell me. Supposedly, Supposedly he has connection to the Yakuza. Word is, he's involved in some dangerous transactions. Kameji, you wouldn't happen to be struggling with debt with- What? How did you- I knew it. That's what you wanted to tell me, right? Why can't you get the police involved? Is it because you're buying and selling on the black market? What are you talking about? I would never do something like that! I tried asking Komeiji more questions, but no matter how much I questioned him, he didn't admit to any involvement with the Yakuza. In the end, I was unable to find any clues leading to the key to Shoma's heart. So I just threw both of them off the rooftop. Huh. Shoma isn't here. Where did that boy run off to? We still haven't made up. I'm sorry, Mr. Ryuki. I need to go find Shoma now. So, well, bye for now. Excuse me. Okay, goodbye. Meiji and Shoma, hmm. it's clear that they're both hiding something. Even if we chase them down and asked again, we'd get the same result. I guess we have no choice. Let's go somewhere else for now. Yeah, let's. Marble. <laughs> oh, again. And Amame. Oh, Ryuki, honey, welcome. It's been so long. Sorry, Mama, but I'm not here as a customer today. I was wondering if you knew anything about the case. Do you mean the HB case? Yeah. Mame and Gen are here. But they're acting strange. They're both quiet, turned away from each other. Are you upset? What happened? Well... Ah, a sumo wrestler! Who are you calling a sumo wrestler? <laughs> Gar nicht über dich gesprochen. What happened? Excuse me. Are you upset? <gasps> a forest doom! Huh? Where? <laughs> There's a flyer on the wall. There's an occult poster on the wall. There's a poster on the wall. Entrance exam pajama paradance. What? It's a movie about crashing an entrance exam in pajamas and doing the para para dance. I. Naturally. The menu is written on the blackboard. Specialty socks. No double dipping. Huh. <laughs> sure. There's a table in front of the sofa. It's a sofa. There's a suspicious book. The spine says anyone can become a necromancer. Uh Sure. I mean I guess. Key. Want to see a video of naked men hugging each other in the dirt? Sumo. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, you. It's just a sumo video. And you are echt begeistert. Oh, yes, please. Das kannst du auch. Die Line kannst du auch in einem anderen Spiel benutzen, oh, glaube ich. Yes, please. Anyway. <clears throat> there are bottles lined up on the counter. Let's count how many there are. 
Did you count the number of bottles? But nothing happens. What a waste of time. It's Mama. She's lovingly polishing two crystal balls. Two crystal balls on top of the counter. Crystal balls? Is that a crystal ball? Yes. These are my <laughs> big milky balls. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I... Shoot, okay. <laughs> Didn't really want to know about your big milky balls today, but... Milky balls? <laughs> oh, but I'm not talking I mean, about testicles, honey. Right. Yeah, mean. I know. <laughs> I started telling fortunes as a side business. With my milky balls. And believe it or not, I actually gained the ability to hear them. Voices from other dimensions. Uh, other dimensions? Yes. One day, I was suddenly gifted with the power. I suppose it's more accurate to call it a seance than fortune telling. They both sound pretty fishy. You're just going to pretend you're hearing voices, aren't you? No, I'm completely serious. I mean, I don't even remember what happens while hearing the voices. Oh, why don't we give it a try? I could ask about the HB case. You might believe me if you see it in person. No, it's okay. No need to be so modest. It'll be free of charge. About the case. Well, here's what I know. <laughs> I asked Mama what she knows about the case, but unfortunately there wasn't any new or useful information. I'm sorry I couldn't help you this time. No, it's fine. Just typical detective work. Gotta earn my pay. About Mama? I've been wondering this for a long time. Who are you really, Mama? Me? I'm just your ordinary, everyday, homoerotic connoisseur. Well, and that's that. Ask her to perform the seance. Then let me ask the milky balls. Can you stop calling them that? <laughs> oh, no, please go on. Oh, set of balls. Who is the most beautiful in all the land? That is Mama, of course. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> you flatter. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even what I wanted to ask. <laughs> and the answer is completely wrong. That was just a joke. I figured. Ahem. Now, let's try this for real. Oh, great set of milky white balls. I need you to give me some clues for an investigation. One after another, victims have been torn in half in these half-body murders. Where can we find the key to exposing the culprit? Face. A hidden face. The true face, as yet unrevealed to all. That is where the answer is hidden. Huh? Did I just say something? I told you, I black out during these seances. Don't remember a thing. About the hidden face. Let's see. The first thing that comes to mind is Gan's face hidden under his mask, but he's sensitive about it. It's not something I can just ask. Yeah, and it's hard to say if this is really related to the case or not. The only other thing I can think of is Ah, Jin Huraway. Huh? It might also apply to Jin. But Jin's face is well known. Yeah, it's not like he hides it. It's true that photos of his face have been all over the place, but he's never actually gone out in public in person. <laughs> not even once? Not even once. It's not because he's shy, is it? If that were the case, his photos wouldn't be out there either. <laughs> I've heard he's an extreme narcissist. He circulates all those pictures himself. Was. By the way, Mama, What's up with those two? Well, the thing is, they had a bit of a differing of opinion. What do you mean? No, Mama. The problem is Guinea's total lack of common sense. My lack of common sense? Are you sure you're not talking about yourself? <laughs> you sound like a stupid person right now. Let me get some kindergarten. What? You're the one who sounds stupid. You probably couldn't even beat the first question of the All-American Ultra Quiz. Yeah, mommy, mom, yeah, mom, yeah, quiz shows. Wait, 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 what is this argument even about? Well, we're having a disagreement. All right, you jerk. Why don't we get a neutral third party and ask them? <laughs> that's what happened. So we came to Marvel to get Mama's opinion. And that's where we're at. 
But when I gave my input, it only made things more complicated. I know. Now that Ryuki's here, let's see what he thinks. Yeah, then we'll know for sure who's right. So, question time. Mm. Huh? What's the name of the island where the Statue of Liberty in New York is located? Uh. Um. Uh. Uh. Mookie Balls Island? Mom, I waited for my answer with a serious expression. Ellis Island? <coughs> That's right. Y you too? Are you serious? That's ridiculous. It can't be. The Statue of Liberty is definitely on Liberty Island. No, it's true that the Statue of Liberty is on Ellis Island. I mean, there's no such thing as Liberty Island anyway. I don't believe this. Something is off here. Tama, what do you think? Of course it's Ellis Island. This is common knowledge. Look, I just looked it up online. Now do you see? The Statue of Liberty is located on Ellis Island. As you can see here, there's no such island as Liberty Island. I'm sorry again. Mame is right. Impossible. See? Anyway, they've been butting heads about the location of the Statue of Liberty this whole time. But it looks like they finally came to a conclusion. I see. If you all say so, I must be the one who's wrong. I'm sorry, Amame. I was mistaken. As long as you understand now, that's good enough for me. Everyone makes mistakes. I need to get to work soon, so I'm heading out. I'll stick around for a bit longer. Okay, then I'll see you three later. What about your restaurant, Gen? <laughs> I closed up shop for the day. I couldn't acquire any ingredients I was satisfied with. Really? Closed for a reason like that? It's really important to me. It would be rude to serve mediocre dishes to my customers. I think I'll go to the warehouse district at the harbor after this. I thought I could watch the waves and think up new dishes. Vielleicht haben sie kein Internet. Gute Frage. Oh, wir können Wink Sync machen, aber nur mit einer Person. Hm. What if Matsushita Diner takes your customers? I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Ota from Matsushita Diner doesn't understand the first thing about the true essence of cooking. <laughs> to the warehouse district at the harbor? Yes, I love that place. I can watch the ocean in silence with no one around. I find it very soothing. For some reason, Date seems to go there often as well. What do I do? What in the world should I do? Hmm. About Mame. Mame and I go way back. There are times when we have arguments over little things like you saw earlier. We're basically family at this point. So if anything ever happened to her, I would do everything I could to help. I believe that I have to protect her no matter what. About Mr. Dante. I have been very close with Dante for some time. He often stops by Brahmin before coming here to drink. I trust him. There are only three people who weren't afraid of me the first time they saw me. Dante, Amame, and Leon. You know Leon too? Yes, he's a regular at Brahmin as well. Leon just wandered in one day while Dante was there. They hit it off right away and had quite a lively discussion. I joined them after closing up for the day, and the three of us drank until morning. Huh, that's an interesting group. I can't imagine what you three would talk about. Probably porno mags or something. <laughs> what are they? Teenagers? Oh, we talked a lot about porno mags. <laughs> okay. Of course. Pull your mask. Putting Date, Amame, and Leon aside, my appearance makes most people uncomfortable. But if I didn't wear this mask, I would scare them even more. If I recall, your face has a congenital condition. Yes. Would you like to see? What? My face. Vielleicht gibt's collector editions. No, you don't have to if you don't want to. 
Not that I'm trying to avoid it or anything. I said that, but to be honest, a part of me wanted to see. Not out of curiosity, but because of Mama's words from earlier. Face. A hidden face. The true face. X-ray? Oh. Mm. I don't believe it. I could clearly see Gen's skull, but it didn't seem like the answer to solving the case was hidden there. No point in staying here much longer. Yes, let's move on. Well, Gen, Mama, I'll be going now. Very well. Please take care. Stop by to get a break from work every once in a while. Mhm. Oh, falscher Knopf. Oh, aber unser Dings hier will wieder was. Wenn der Knopf mal funktionieren würde. Ja. What UMA do you... UMA? Unidentified... Mysterious Animal? Keine Ahnung. Christian weiß bestimmt, wofür das steht. Äh... Keine Ahnung. Yes. Probably. Ach genau, wir wollen noch zu Lemnis Gate und eine halbe Iris abholen. Oh, guck mal, Milky, wer da sitzt. Ah, Milky, we just finished recording. <lacht> Hau dir gleich ein Pferd um die Ohren auf Japanisch. Oh, good timing. But why are these two here? I just happened to be here by chance. By chance, yeah. Me too. I'm here completely by coincidence. Absolutely. Okay then. So, what is it you wanted to tell me about the case? Yeah, about that. Who, who the hell is that? Hmm? Hmm. What? Talk about sketchy. Maybe someone from the talent agency? I don't know. I couldn't see their face, so it's hard to say. Seems dangerous, but I'll put my life on the line to protect Tess. I, I, I mean, Iris. So, uh, don't you worry. M me too. Let's see. Wink sink. Oh, okay, good. Uh, let's go to Atami together. What? What are you talking about, Ryuki? No. I was just suddenly overcome <laughs> with an inexplicable urge to go to Atami. No idea where that came from. Hello. Wow, what a total hottie. What? Oh, this is cool. This is Oh, this is perfect. I was just starting to get bored. Come on, let's have a chat, cutie. A little tete a tete. Sorry, I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, and your voice is super mega hot too. Hotty for a thotty. Slide into my DMs anytime, King. Oh, Ryuki, that gave us. Um, I'm here to ask some questions for an investigation. Wait, you're with the police? Are you friends with Date by any chance? Yeah, he he's my superior. Oh my God, it's such a small world. Oh my God. Why is this woman a receptionist? Likely a decision made by the company president. Mizuki? Nine out of four, Renju. Um. It's okay. You don't have to say it. You want to rub these soft things, don't you? No, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, fine. Just for a bit, okay? Oh, we must spit all shut in. Here you go. I moved over to the receptionist and began vigorously rubbing both of her earlobes. Oh, okay. They were softer than I expected. Are you okay? What are you doing? <laughs> There's two things about her I'd like to investigate further. When I returned to where I was, I was, was looking at me as though I was the scum of the earth. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. Oh, There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting. There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Huge breasts. Breasts. There are huge breasts sitting behind the desk. What are you saying? 
Uh, let's go oh, to Atami together. The investigation. I'm going to Atami with her. I've already made up my mind. Don't try to stop me. Did you take crazy pills this morning or something? <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? <laughs> Ryuki, please. I have a bad feeling about this. Now, let's go to Atami together! Uh, okay. I took her hand, and we ran out of Lemniscate, leaving Tama behind. No. <laughs> Fuck the investigation. Ah. Thus the case came to a close without being resolved. Goodbye, alive as a police officer. Hello, Adami Shizuoka Prefecture. I began my new life as a staff member at an inn here in the Hot Springs District. The end. <laughs> you know, who cares? Huge breasts. Complete. Ah, uh, okay. Where was I? Ist doch schön, dass man so mega schnell vorspulen kann. Auch schade, dass wir äh, Aiba nicht dabei hatten. Die hat sich doch immer über Käfer in den Pflanzen gefreut. Wow, da ist ein weirder Bug hier. Du hast recht. Ich habe nie gesehen. Okay, ihr gefällt das offenbar nicht. Aiba's Magazines sind auf dem Magazin, oder? Right? Special Feature, useful ways to tie a rope. Huh. Ryuki, steal for me later. Äh, uh, nee. Ich fang nicht schon wieder mit dem Scheiß an. Uh, can I help you? Are you going to shoot? Look, a wooden pony. Oh, where? <laughs> Your mask is upside down, though. Fine. A weirdo wearing a weird mask and a weird outfit is looking this way weirdly. Why are you here? You, I just happen to be here. I just so happen to know Tessa's recording schedule. Yeah, because you're a stalker. And I thought she might be thirsty after recording, so I got her a drink. In other words, he was waiting for her. Thanks for everything, Ota. <laughs> Fire! Hot, hot, Tessa! Shipping! Great, great, Tessa! Airplane! Height, flight, Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as ASAT! You bet! <laughs> it's Ota. Why are you here? I told you it was a coincidence. Yeah, of course it was. For some reason, Tess, I know, A sets recording schedule <laughs> happened to be happened to be I there. Guess. No idea how I got there. I figured it was a cyber attack by a rival gang, so I came here to scout things out just in case. Das war ja schon beeindruckend, mit was für der dämlichen Ausrede er daherkommen kann. That's a huge stretch. He was probably just waiting for her. Thanks for everything, Mr. Kumakura. <laughs> Shopping! Cart! Mart! Tessa! Gaming! Fight! Sprite! Te Account! Check! Collect! It's the brand new st Okay. It's Mongma. He looks extremely out of place here. Yeah. Ja, gut, mit ihr können wir jetzt sonst nichts mehr machen. What is it you wanted to tell me? Two days ago, we were talking about the people who went missing after yes. seeing Bats 490. Uh-huh. Well, the same thing started happening with the people who saw the QR code video. What? I read about it online this morning. Many people have gone missing since seeing that video. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location, and they're all getting murdered. You there. Oh. Who? Mein... You there engt die Sache hier nicht gerade ein, wenn hier vier Leute sind. Is what you just said true? Huh? You... Who the hell are you? Don't get one step closer. Th that's right. What are you trying to do to Tessa? Sorry to bother you. And they're gone. What was that all about? Um, about our discussion. Oh, right. Did someone you know go missing or something? No, it's not that. It's just a rumor I found online. Tama, how many people have gone missing lately? About 1,700 people have gone missing this week. It isn't particularly higher than usual. Hmm. There's something paranormal. 
all going on in the HP case after all. Like half a corpse teleporting from another world. And people going missing after watching a video. There has to be some sort of supernatural phenomenon happening. <laughs> Simp Brigade, say ich jetzt erst. I agree with Tessa. The occult are involved with the HP case for sure. Right? Yeah. I mean, Nice is a part of all of this, right? Where did you hear that? It's all over the internet. Nice is a big proponent of the simulation theory. Oh, and I didn't know this a few months ago. I learned all this recently. If you think about that theory being correct, the case makes a lot more sense. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. And such programs always have some glitches lurking under the surface. Coincidences like this are a manifestation of such glitches. Proof of imperfection. Proof of the scenes. Winksick. Tessa! Tessa, Tessa, Tessa! <laughs> Tessa! 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 What a waste of electricity. <laughs> Seriously. Um, okay. About simulation theory. Simulation theory is probably true. There's even proof. Proof? Take a look at this. What's with Leon telling you? Like, Oda pulled out several photos from his pocket and handed them to me. Doesn't this remind you of something? Like those nameless mob characters that show up in video games. You know they reuse assets to lower production costs. No. This is probably just some sort of coincidence. Like some synchronicity type thing? But there's more photographic proof. What now? Do you still think it's a coincidence after seeing this? If you consider this stuff that can't be explained by science as a glitch in the simulated world... It can't be. This auto is in Baum drin. This can also be an optical Täuschung sein. Lässt sich bestimmt alles erklären. Calm down, Ryuki. These are obviously doctored photos. Oder das? Yeah, you're right. Synchronicity. In a nutshell, they're basically meaningful coincidences. For example, when you talk about someone and they just so happen to show up in front of you. Or when you hear the same word over and over from a bunch of different people. That kind of synchronicity. It's supposed to mean that there's a message behind it. Or it's just a coincidence. A message from who? Well... Someone about the paranormal and simulation theory. I just thought of something listening to Ota. You can explain any paranormal phenomenon using the simulation theory UFOs, Umas, ghosts, superpowers. If this world is a simulation, they'd all be possible. Yeah, whether it's a glitch or alterations made on purpose, whatever it is, would all make sense. What do you think? I'm no expert on paranormal and occult stuff, but I know one thing for sure. So, I gotta warn you. You should back out of this investigation. What do you mean? I don't know much about that nice group, but there's definitely a real dangerous organization involved in all this. If you get too deep, you might end up dead. Word's spreading in the underground. If the cops investigate any further, they'll make them disappear. Seems like the rich and powerful from all over the world are involved in this too. You piss them off. Who knows what they'll do to you? Rich and powerful? Could Mr. Sachima be involved in this too? Oh, nicht der wieder. Sachima? You mean the former politician guy? Yes, so Sajima. Oh, but don't worry about it. I just saw him recently, so he popped in my head is all. Wait, you met with So? Yeah. Why? Because he invited me to his house. For what reason? He said he happened upon my videos online and thought they were interesting or something. So, eigentlich seine Tochter. Nur, dass sie das nicht weiß. Are you okay? He didn't do anything, did he? Not at all. We just talked for a bit. Iris doesn't know So Sejima is her father. After the new cycle of serial killing, So Sejima's life as a politician ended. However, what So did wasn't technically illegal, so he hasn't been arrested or charged. He still has tons of money, so may not be a politician anymore, but he still holds tons of power. 
or the fact that he was involved in the murder of her real mother, Monica. Yeah, the people around her have been protecting her from that information. Fortunately, Iris doesn't really watch the news either. But in any case, the media hasn't found out Iris is Monica's father. Now, let's get going. For all that talking we did, we didn't get much useful information here. Yeah. But something has been bothering But me. we did go to Atami. I'll keep what I heard here in mind, just in case. There are some things that I've been thinking about, though. The biggest one being... The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horadori Institute. But in the end, we didn't find anything. Das sieht doch total aus wie... Wie diese, diese fehlt eigentlich nur noch Igor, der da sitzt und äh, wie die andere noch gleich hieß, Margaret. Halt nur nicht so blau. A hidden room inside Horadori Institute? We have to look into this. After hearing about something like that. Well, I suppose so. So. All right. Our next destination is. Wie war damals statt Igor? Yeah. Horadori Institute. <lacht> Ja, ich denke ich auch. No one here. It's past business hours, so they probably all left. Wie sind wir denn reingekommen? But the lights are on. Maybe someone forgot to turn them off? The entrance was unlocked too. Okay. I think someone forgot to lock it. There weren't any guards around. Must be on vacation. No, oh, fine. I'm sorry, okay? Yes, you're right. Something is clearly wrong. It's as if someone is inviting us inside. A trap, maybe? For who? And why? No one could have known we were coming here. Then maybe it's for welcoming someone other than us. Who's there? She can we heard. Ryuki, living organism detected. They're alone. They must be hiding somewhere. I don't see anyone hiding. I don't see anyone hiding. Oop. There you are. Moment, man. Hey, I know you're there. Come on out. <laughs> so with the sun. What are you doing here? Kameji. What is he doing here? Yeah, what she says. Did you unlock the entrance? Did you find Shoma? It was unlocked when I got here. Oh, jetzt sagt er doch was. I, yes, I think he's at home right now. Why are you here? Why are you here? Who knows? I don't even know myself. Before I knew it, I found myself here. Mm -hmm. Maybe my brain is messed up from all the drinking. He's clearly lying. He's obviously hiding the real reason he's here. Now, how to make him talk? He may be hiding something on his person. Let's find out. <sighs> Is that... Why does he have that? Kameji, what are you hiding in your pocket there? I... I don't know what you're talking about. It's no use trying to hide it. What you have there, it's a pistol, isn't it? Kameji... Can you please tell me what's going on? Huh. Ich denke mal, Ryuki ist ein bisschen schneller als du. Choice. Ryuki, sink with him. 